everybody home. <laughs> this is probably about video three. I'm on my way to Badgeworth. Badge something or other, which is just over there, look. I've come off the busy A38. Oh yeah, there's a sign to Badgeworth, look. Hidden in the bush there. I've come off the A38 now. I only had to do a little bit of it and I was on a path the whole way. It really is beautiful around here. Absolutely remarkable scenes. As I'm going to just stop to show everybody. Wait a moment. There, back there behind me is Crook's Peak right behind there. Here's the back of Crook's Peak with Bishop Copton nestled in the arms of Crook's Peak and then you go all the way over there to Axbridge and Cheddar. I'm now delving more into the valley, the other side of Crook's Peak now. I left Weston at um, 12 o'clock. It's about half past two now. And I've been idly cycling, taking my time. It's a little bit breezy, but not too bad. I'm not going to do a great deal of um, cycling video because I always seem to run out of video. And I want to do at least another church after this one. They're all nestled and hidden, little small populations. News for the day, yesterday the Queen, or over the last couple of days, the Queen has been the first royal person to visit, or king or queen, I should say, Ireland since 1911 when King George V went there, when it was under British rule. Since independence, no one's been there. I wonder if that takes you to the church down there. You feel like it does, don't you? Church Lane, there we go. And they're going up a little wonky wonky lane. Yeah, so that's just a bit of local news for the country. President Obama will be going off there soon. It's almost like they're competing with one another. Of course, there's strict security when the Queen was there. Right, over and out folks, that was just a very small snippet of video. Right, I've done loads of photos, inside and out. I'm now just going to start doing a bit of video of Badgeworth. That's got Badgeworth and Biddisham, because I think maybe the same, they're under the same parish. But here at the altar is a beautiful stained glass window, look. 
And that, that there, I don't know what you call that, with the figureheads each side and that, that's quite old. There's a lot of history and I've got it all at home, the actual history which will be included in the Somerset Church project along with photos and video. It's an ordinary sort of wooden roof there. The Reverend Charles Mordaunt, 24 years rector of this parish who died October the 11th, 1861, aged 48. He was buried at Roxall in this county with his wife. It looks to be a very old grave of somebody interred within the chancel. Very old, look. Features of the cross and everything. This will be in the booklet, I suspect. In here, over I went a minute ago, we've got, um, this is like a vestry type thing, I think. You've got the organ there, and then you've got the Ten Commandments which they were often put up where people could read them more easily. You've got the um, Lord's Prayer and then you've got the Commandments and all that sort of thing. So the hymns, hymn numbers go in there. It's a bit outside. There's something called the barn there, Congar Barn. I don't know what that's about. Whether that's like the church hall. But look at that huge tree. Grow really well, the trees here, don't they? There's a list of rectors. If I have come across an Isaacson, I'll know they're related to us. Goes back to 1309 there. There's the church chest for keeping all the documents. And the, this could be a leper window here. Might well have been in the past. Where they weren't allowed too close. It might have been, it, it might not have been. The people that died in the war. I've taken photographs of all this. This is an old... Um, I don't say font, but it's pulpit. So there we go. There's the Church of St. Conga, I think it's called. New ch repair bill puts church in danger. I haven't got my glasses on, so I haven't got. I can't write anything in the book because I haven't got. They haven't left a pen, and there don't seem to be any leaflets either. So it's very odd. Cause that's a way of raising money, you know. When they have leaflets, St Congress Church, Badgeworth, 2011, just showing some of the work that needs doing. There's the belfry up through there, look. It's quite a nice stained glass window there, at the back of the church. And of course going up to the tower. Nice little display of spring tulips there on the font. There's a lot of space, there's a feeling of a lot of space here. But it's just, by the feel of it, it's just, they're just about keeping themselves level. Right, I'm just going to do a quick look outside as well. Shut that door. I'll just do a quick scan of the church from the outside. There's some real big table like um, tombs here. And this is a massive double stone of, in the memory, of William Cook, who died in 1850, age 67, and his wife. I didn't say that, that's a huge isn't it? There's a sundial to Elizabeth II there, 1952 to 1977, one of her jubilee years. <clears throat> I'm exploring a bit because there's a little lane that goes down there, but I'm not quite sure where that goes. Whether it'll bring me back out onto the... I'll just come over into this field a minute as well. I took photographs from here a moment ago. 
You see all the hay has been bundled up for silage probably. This is right in the middle of the Somerset countryside everyone. We've got the back of Crook's Peak over there and the Mendips going all the way over there, look. And then coming into view now we've got the church of St Conger, look. See? Set in a beautiful location as well. Further over there we'll have wells. Just to get the feel of the summer and the springness. We've been very lucky because the weather's been appalling. So I came down this little lane. I don't know quite near. I haven't got really a proper map, you see. Whether I need to go on <coughs> to Chapel, Allington or Mir next. Or Weir, rather. I came out late, so I'm not really hungry. I think I've got, I'm having sips of water. I've got my usual packed lunch, jam sandwiches, cheese, chocolate, oranges, crisps, lots of water. It's got some writing on there, look, 1909, 1704. It's a bit more derelict when we get round the other side, but look at the views we've got. the views over there look you can see um, right over there I, I can actually see brain down there's a the bleeding hills which I talk about a lot so it looks a bit more derelict this side doesn't it definitely more in need of repair here and far more it probably faces those winds you see more this side so it's eroded more but look over there everyone, look, surrounded by my reference points, Brent Nola. See? Absolute beauty. I've never, like I said, I've never been here before in my life, see? This is all very new. I've already done a scout round for graves. So I'm not actually going to do a lot on the churchyard itself, but there's some sort of barn thing, Conger Barn or something. St. Conger Barn. And I'm not quite sure what that's all about. There's a lot of council graves here. And body again. Tilly graves there. So it's set in a beautiful location. Look at that with Brent Knoll right over there, look. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? There's some really old graves here. This is a charrel. I think it's charrel. It could be chapel. With the little cherubins on there. It's very Victorian, that is, isn't it? A few creme stones. Yeah, we've got council and body at the back there. Baileys. Rich families, that's another one. There's the altar end now. So that's about it, really. I'm going to, I've just got this feeling if I follow that lane down there, it might come out to go to um, Chapel Allington. But I'm going to follow it anyway. So there we go everyone, this is St Conger of Badgeworth, Somerset, 19th of May 2011.